Hi, this is Michelle Ferguson. I am the crochet pattern designer of Two Brothers Blankets. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to crochet the Dallas washcloth. For this project, you will need about 120 yards of worsted weight cotton yarn. I am using Dishy Worsted from We Crochet in the colorway mint. You will also need a G 4.0 millimeter crochet hook or hook to obtain gauge. So let's get started. Okay, once you have checked your gauge and determined what hook size you need, you're ready to get started. For this project, you will be working in a multiple of four plus five. So I am going to be making a 10 and a half by 10 and a half inch washcloth. It's a little bigger than what I typically do. I typically do 10 by 10, um, but I really like the single crochet trimming on this one. Um, which adds a little more to it. So we are going to start by chaining um, 41 for our 10 and a half by 10 and a half washcloths. One, two, three. Okay, I have chained 41. Now I am going to do three double crochet in the fifth chain from hook. I like to work in the back bump of the chain. So here's the front of your chain. I like to flip it and work into this back bump. It just looks cleaner to me. Um, it doesn't leave quite so much of a gap. So second, third, fourth, fifth. We're gonna be working to this fifth chain from the hook. And we're gonna do three double crochet. One, two, three. All right, now it says to skip three chains. Let me get my yarn. Um, and then work a single crochet, chain three and three double crochet in the next. So we're gonna skip one, two, three. We're gonna single crochet first into that next chain. Then we are going to chain three, one, two, three, and then work three double crochet into that same chain. So one, two, three. We have our second block, that single crochet, chain three, and three double crochet equals one block. So now we are going to repeat that. We are going to do skip three, one, two, three, single crochet into the next, chain three, one, two, three, and work three double crochet into that same chain. So one, two, three. And it's going to repeat across um till we get to the last chain so one two three single crochet chain three three double crochet now work that all the way around i mean all the way across till you get to your last chain Okay, I'm to my last four chains. We're skipping three to end our repeat. And then it says to just single crochet into that last chain instead of doing an entire block. So this is what it will look like. It'll be a little bendy, but that's okay. Um, that's what it'll look like to finish out row one. Now let's move on to row two. So for row two, we are going to chain four to start. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna turn our work. Now this part might be a little confusing, but it's really simple. So we've chained four. Now we are going to work three double crochet into the very first chain of that chain four. So the chain one of chain four. So it'll be right here next to your single crochet. 
and you're going to do three, whoops, three double crochet into that chain. And I'm still working in the back bump of it as well. All right, you have three double crochet. So you kind of have your chain three right here and then your three double crochet to kind of make a modified block, I would say. So now you are going to single crochet, chain three, three double crochet into the next chain three space. So this chain three space right here is what you're going to work into. So we're going to single crochet, chain three, and three double crochet. One, two, three. And we're going to do that all the way across till we get to this last chain three right here. That one you're just going to single crochet into instead of working a complete block. So go ahead and do your single crochet, chain three, three double crochet around each of those chain three spaces from row one. Okay, I have completed row two. I did one single crochet in this last chain three space to finish it out. Um, and now for rows three through 17, we are just going to repeat row two. So very simple, chain four to start, one, two, three, four, turn your work, work three double crochet into the first chain of the chain four, chain one of chain four, three double crochet into that. And then you're going to start your blocks into the single crochet, I mean the chain three spaces. So you're going to single crochet, chain three, three double crochet. And you're going to work that each row, repeating row two for 17 rows. So go ahead, pause the video um, and work up your 17 rows. And then I will meet you back at the end of that and we'll work on the trim for the washcloth. Okay, I have completed the 17 rows. Let me Let's see it all. 17 rows of the wash off pattern. Um, as you can see, once you've completed that 17th row, it has like a really bumpy edge up here, but not down here, which is why I want to add a trim to around it, just to make it look a little more clean around the edges. So to do the trim, what we're going to do is we are going to chain one and turn our work. And so since there are, we're doing a multiple of four plus five, we did, I did a multiple, um, I did 36 stitches plus five, which was 41. So I want to get 36 stitches across the top here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this single crochet, this very last single crochet that we've done. And I am going to single crochet into these three double crochet. So one, two, three, and then I'm going to single crochet into this chain three space, four. So that gives me four stitches per block. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to skip the single crochet and work a single crochet in the next three double crochet. One, two, three, whoops, three, and then one in the chain three space, four. So now I have eight. And I'm just going to do that all the way around or all the way across until I get to the corner. So one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm at the last double crochet, so I'm doing a, a single crochet in it, and then we've got this starting chain three. Well, it started out as chain four, and we did our 3DC in the chain. We're going to single crochet into that, and you should have 36 single crochet 
across the top of your work. So now we want to work along the side and it's not quite as easy to figure it up but what we want to do is I want to do 36 single crochet into I mean all the way down the side of the washcloth. So I'm just going to do two double crochet into the chain space, one double crochet into this, whoops, um, where it meets the single crochet, and then one double crochet in the next little, I think that's a single crochet too. Um, that's four. So we're just going to keep doing that two in the chain spaces and then two more along the side to get 36. You can do it however you want. Um, you just want it to look even. You're going to do another round of single crochet also, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Ugh, I'm struggling here. It just has to be look even and be, I would recommend the same number of stitches all the way across on each side to make it square. Okay, I have completed 36 single crochet along the side. Now I'm going to work in the bottom, around the bottom of the uh, square. So we're working with our starting chains here. So if you remember, we skipped three chains and then worked into the fourth chain. So that's how I am going to do my single crochet across. I'm going to do one, two, three around that chain space of skipped chains and then the fourth one into the one we worked in. Four, or five, six, seven, and then a fourth one in that fourth stitch. And then I'm just going to continue single crocheting three in the chain space, one in the, in the chain that you worked in, all the way across for 36 single crochet. Okay, I have completed along the bottom. Now we're going to be working back up the side. Um, the other side. So what I want to do is the exact same thing as this side. Um, I'm just going to work 36 as evenly as possible along that side. So I am going to do, we got a stitch here, one, two, and then two in the chain space, three, four, five, six along the side and then two in the chain space seven eight and we do that all the way up to the very top of my washcloth okay i'm finished with my stitches i'm just going to slip stitch to the first stitch um and that is what it looks like with one row of single crochet around, one round. I like it better with two. So we are going to do another. You can do however you please. Um, if you just like the one, that's fine. But I just think it looks a little bit cleaner with a second row. So I'm gonna chain one, and I'm gonna single crochet in each single crochet around. And that is it. I'm just gonna go around, and do a single crochet in all of the single crochet that I just did, just to give it a little more, just to add a little bit more to that trim. Um, and once you get done with that, I'll show you how to finish it off. And we'll be all done with the Dallas washcloth. Okay, I have completed my second round of single crochet trim. Um, I just think it looks really nice and clean. So I have joined it to the first stitch and I am going to fasten off. And then I'll weave in my ends 
And there you have it. I got to weave in these ends. Um, but now the Dallas washcloth is completed. If you like this stitch combo, be sure to check out my other Dallas crochet patterns. Um, there's a hat and a scarf and a blanket for you that you can check out. Um, I'll be sure to link them in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and have a great day.